भूलो जावे रे मन तू भूलो जावे रे हर सदगुरु रे समझावे रस्त आवे क्या नहीं रे हर दिल गुरु रे समझावे रस्त आवे क्या नहीं रे uh... The important thing is this, there is air pollution, there's water pollution, there's water shortages, these are all consequences that we feel. But actually, in terms of environment, the most fundamental problem is soil. Soil is the only real problem. If soil is rich, there will be water. If soil is rich and that there is enough vegetation on it, air will be purified. To what extent means, right now, some of the scientists have made uh, these calculations, as a part of the World Economic Forum, I am also part of this uh, team for one trillion tree, trillion tree campaign they've started. What the calculations are saying is the scientific calculations, one trillion trees if you plant. In the last fifty years, all the gas emissions and carbon emissions that have happened in the world, one trillion trees in fifteen years' time, they will absorb everything. Some many gigatons of uh, carbon particles which are there, one trillion trees can absorb. Now, just the Kaveri Basin, we are talking about 2.42 billion trees. If you take up every... it is vital that we take up river uh, basins first, because river basins are a system. Rivers are not individual rivers, river is a system. Kaveri has over 120 tributaries, out of which many have died, now effectively about 55 to 60 tributaries are still very much active. If you do not save the tributaries, you cannot save the river, because river is only a confluence of all the tributaries coming in. So the river basin has to be taken care of. River basin, if you plant at least thirty to forty percent trees, then you have revived the river. It is very important when I spoke about this in United Nations, they said, Sadhguru, if you can just do this 2.4 billion plantations and show little little improvement, just five, ten percent improvement, this will become the world's model, you must do this. But it will take time, right now our project is twelve-year time. But why should we wait for twelve years to be over? This is not rocket science, this is the way nature was earlier. If we can simultaneously start in all the rivers in India and show in twelve to fifteen years' time, all the rivers are flowing at least fifteen to twenty percent higher than what they are today, that will be the greatest thing that we can do. So instead of each individual trying to do their own thing, right now everybody wants to do their own thing, instead of doing things for our satisfaction, it is time that we all pool ourselves into a solution. The time for doing things for personal satisfaction is over. We must find solutions and the solutions are only... the most fundamental solution is in maintaining the richness of the soil. We don't call soil as dirt or something else as others do, we call it our mother, it's called Mother Earth for us. In Tamil, we say Thai Mannu, that means the soil itself is our mother, because our mothers were also born, or born out of this soil and they've gone back to this soil. We are also out of this and we will also go back to this. This one thing we must do as a generation of people, everybody wants to do a little bit of their own thing for personal satisfaction. Instead of that, everybody pooling their energies to revive a few rivers. River, re, uh, river revitalization or river rejuvenation does not mean digging, it up, digging up rivers and showing some s water there. This is a total destruction of the river bed. The important thing is we have to bolster the river basin with substantial vegetation and maybe some minor structures here and there where it's necessary, but largely with vegetation you can put the river back because Indian rivers only four percent are uh, glacial water. Rest of it is all rainwater. The rainwater that comes in fifty to seventy-five days, we must hold it for three hundred and sixty-five days. That is all we have to do. If you have to hold this, you must make the soil rich. If you have to make the soil rich, there must be enough vegetation and animals on the land. If we do this, you don't have to worry about the air. Air gets cleared by itself. Of course, bringing more environmentally friendly machines, factories and cars, that process is anyway going on, but that is subject to technological developments. But this is something we can do right away.